Hi guys and welcome back to Logic Language Learning. Now same as normal, if you like the video can I ask you to click like and any questions, any text you need of what we've been talking about will normally be answered underneath. If not, there are all my contact details on Skype, my website or the email. Okay, so today we're looking at the verb to go. Okay, now you will notice behind me if you can see, okay, everything is written underneath normally, that the verb to go and the verb have are very similar, which is why currently I've left the verb have on the board. So our basic verb to go is used in French, like in English, for travel. So I'm going to Paris, I go to Paris. Or also for when you are going to say the future in a really easy way. So for example, I'm going to explain. Yeah, I'm going to Paris, I'm going to explain. So a really important verb, okay, now. Although the verb is aller, aller, it's not one of our traditional a method verbs, is it? Because what would that be? That would be aller would give me al. Okay, so that's not what we want. So the verb is aller, and in many other places in French, it's going to seem like it's a normal verb. Yeah, but it's actually irregular. So let's just have a quick look now. I don't know if many of you have seen, but there's a quite a famous television advert here in England and there is a football player called Thierry Henry and he says about cars va va voom so I want you to think va for go yeah I want you to think um, voom voom acceleration v it's going to give me the v's okay so if I took j which was I have okay so let's do this on sound so if I have I have which is j a what would I get if I put a v before the a V. Okay, so my French for to go is je vais. So I no longer need my J apostrophe because I'm not starting with a vowel now. I'm going to have je vais. Okay, now if I have you have, tu as, you go, give me the V's, pardon the expression, tu vas. Yeah, you go, tu vas. Tu vas à Paris. You're going to Paris. And the little preposition you've just heard, to, for a direction, is à. Okay? Plus a place. So, tu vas à Paris. So, we add a V. Okay? He has was il a. Remembering the trick. Tu es, il est. You are, he is. Same sound. Tu as, il a. You have, he has. Same sound. Okay? So we're going to add a V. What would il a with a V give me? Il, v, il va. Okay. So consequently, elle va. She goes. Elle va à Londres, to London. Okay. Underneath. She's going to uh, Berlin. Elle va à Berlin. She's going to speak. Now what was the long form of to speak? Elle va Parler. Okay, she's going to speak. Good, now, next thing. We had nous avons from our verb avoir, which basically was avoir, and we found the en. So if aller were a normal verb, if I had mangé, we'd have nous mangeons. If we have aller, we have allons. So this is a nice, easy one to do. So we get rid of our V there, and we can put a double L in. Okay, nous allons. We still have a nous sound because we're starting the word with a single S before it. Nous allons. Okay? So if we had the verb aller is going to give me nous allons, what's our normal ending for vous? Our normal ending for vous, which is formal you or plural you, is going to be a. Yeah? Come back to our core. Mange, 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 mangeant, manger, mange. Vous ending is an a. So, vous, the verb is aller, so it's going to match. It's going to match. Vous allez. So, we can remove this. Yep. So, this is very important. We have, nous avons. We go, nous allons. Nous allons. You have, vous avez. Think av, have. You go, vous allez. All the way. A double L. Okay? So, back to normal for everybody else. You might notice in French that things which happen... Things which are different often happen on the nous and the vous. So if we go back to normal, they go, they have, very closely related. So he has, pardon me, they have, ils ont. 
we've got this on word. So stick my V's before them, pardon the expression once again. They go, il, il vend, fantastic, elle vend. Okay, so we have, je vais, I go, tu vas, you go, il va, he goes, nous allons, you go, or oh, on va. Vous allez, you plural are going, vous allez, well, we have, nous allons, vous allez, I do apologize, they go, ils vont. Let's mix it up, okay? And we're going to use a, and we'll use Paris, because we want to go to Paris and practice our French. So, he's going to Paris. Il va à Paris. So remember that all letter V, apart from the, the, the nous and the vous, the we and the, the you plural. So, he's going to Paris. Il va à Paris, okay? Luke is going to Paris, and I think Luke is a he, okay? Luc va à Paris. We are going to Paris. Nous allons. Verb was aller. Nous allons à Paris. Okay? Nous allons à Paris. They are going to Paris. Now, what was they have? Ils ont. Stick a V before it. Ils vont à Paris. Okay? Um, you, singular, you're going to Paris. Tu vas à Paris. Okay? So this is fine. Let's play around a little bit, just cheekily with the future. We've not done that formally yet, but we, we can very easily. So you are going to do something, is I need the verb to go as my first verb. And my second verb will be in the long form, the to form, which as I've told you before in French is one word. So if you said you are going to go, which is the same verb twice, but same as in English, tu vas aller. He's going to speak. Il va parler. We are going to eat. Nous allons manger. Uh, Luke is going to touch. Luke va toucher. Okay, so this tense, this, pardon me, this verb is very useful, not just for going somewhere, okay, but also for the, the future. Okay, any questions at all? Please, 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 please don't hesitate to get in touch whatsoever. Or if you want more homework set on this verb, speak to you very soon. Give me a nice click like if you enjoy the video.